We begin with breaking news on Capitol Hill. This morning, House Judiciary Committee Chairman Jim Jordan has subpoenaed Georgia's Fulton County District Attorney Fawny Willis, demanding documentation from following allegations that Willis fired a whistleblower and allegedly misused federal grant money. NBC News congressional correspondent Julie Serkin joins us now. Julie, good morning. Bring us up to speed exactly. What is Jordan subpoenaing? Yeah, hey, Jose, this is definitely an escalation for Jim Jordan, who, of course, heads the Judiciary Committee, but also the Weaponization Subcommittee that was launched when Republicans took the majority last January. Uh, this step by Jordan marks an escalation because he had previously requested documents back in August, again in September, from Fonnie Willis when it comes to federal funds that Jordan alleges Willis had misused in her investigation of former President Trump. You'll recall that Trump had, of course, pled not guilty when he was indicted last year. Uh, for trying to over for his efforts to try and overturn the 2020 election results. This marks another step because Jordan has also been looking into whether Fa Willis has uh, misused other federal grant money. You mentioned that whistleblower. That's what this has to do with. They now subpoenaed Willis to show them documentation because of some reporting that has been swirling around, particularly conservative outlets, uh, that this whistleblower had said that Willis misused cam uh, campaign fu federal funds, excuse me, when it comes to a youth gang prevention program. Instead, Jordan writing in this letter that these federal grants were used for MacBooks, swag, and vacations. He also continues to say that the whistleblower's direct supervisor stated that these planned expenditures were, quote, part of your vision. That is, of course, Willis's vision. I should note that Fonnie Willis had previously condemned these efforts by Jordan and Republicans, saying that Congress had no role to play in a state <clears throat> criminal matter. Uh, now, of course, we had reached out to Willis's office as well, but we had not yet heard back, Jose. Julie Serkin, thank you so very much.